right, guys, here's my bonus scrubby I promised you. I'm doing it in Halloween theme because I am super duper into Halloween this year. Anywho, so let's get started, okay? We're gonna do a slip knot. And we're going to chain. And now we're going to single crochet into each stitch in the foundation chain. This yarn tends to curl a little, but I do love it. It's, um, first of all, it's squishy. So you don't need to add a sponge when you make a chicken, uh, a chicken, when you make a kitchen scrubby out of this. It comes in 12 super fun colors that I love. I wish there was more colors, actually. I love it that much. This year I've got it in orange and black and then white, red, and green, I bet you can guess what my next project will be with it. <laughs> Merry Christmas! All right, so we've reached the end. We've chained one. We're going to turn. We're going to do it all again. You can fly through these rows. Part of the reason why I wanted to show you guys how to do this project is, you know, it's it's nice when you can, as a newbie, when you can sit down and just in one sitting, make a nice little serviceable piece and have that sense of accomplishment. We're going to stop there and actually we're going to take that stitch out and we're going to change colors. For those of you that don't know how to do this, you're going to be like, what? That's awesome! And for those of you that do, you're going to be like, oh, I remember when I first learned that. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Pull that tight, pull that tight, hold those, chain one, and you're locked in. You've done a color change and you can't even see it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So now we're going to turn our work and just keep right on going in our new color. Isn't that cool? We're going to do another eight rows like this. So I was telling you about this yarn. Okay, so first of all, it's squishy, so you don't have to add a sponge, which is amazing. Okay, and then also it comes, all of the, all of them have just a little bit of sparkle, just a little sparkle. What girl, or guy for that matter, doesn't like a little bit of sparkle. <laughs> I mean, come on. And... It's super easy to work with. It's a nice big chunky yarn. You have to use a six millimeter hook to use it properly. You guys see that? About the only downside to it is that it's, you know, it's a little rough on your hands. Any projects that you make out of this, I would have them be exclusive to the kitchen where you're 
<clears throat> you're making a scrubby or a dishcloth. This would make an excellent dishcloth. In fact, I might do a cute little dishcloth for Christmas. I'll show you guys how to do that if you want. But I just really like it. I'm, I know these stitches are so hard to see in this dark yarn. If you're new, I apologize. It is difficult to see your stitches when you're new. I mean, my only advice there is just practice, 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 practice. So that when you get into, you know, the more complicated yarns or the darker colors, you can still continue to see them. Also, when you start working with different textured yarn, it can be very complicated there. Um, if it's fuzzy or, or, or things like that. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Let's pull that out so we don't lose our place. Then we're going to crochet into this chain right here. And honestly, it's not really a chain. It's like the hole between this row of stitches and this row of stitches. So you're going to crochet into that. And then on the other side, I guess it's a little easier to see over here. See that? And you're just going to keep doing that down the line. Just keep them tightly held together. And just go into those spots between your rows. Next one's going to be there, next one's going to be there. See that? And get down here to the end. And crochet. Crochet one. Then crochet a second stitch into that same corner. To turn you on to the side. So now we're on the side. Now we're going to go into this edge right along here. So we're going to crochet. We just went into that one. So we just went into that one to do our turn. So now we're going to go in between these two sets of stitches. We're going to go right there and work a single crochet. And the next set, you see that? So then we're going to go into this one. This one. We're just going to continue down that row like that. So 
we get to the end, when we get to the end, we're going to crochet into it once, and then into it twice, and then we'll be up here. And we'll go in between our rows again. whole project. See what's amazing about this project is it's super fast. All right, here we are. This is our last tangible stitch. And then we're going to join that first original row so we've got our loop on our hook. We've got the first, this was the chain one that you did at the end of your last row of black. So you're gonna get your hook under that stitch, gonna yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then pull through the last one on your hook. And that is your slip stitch. And that brings the whole project together. Chain one, clip, pull it through, and your whole project's done. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. It's all Halloween-y. We're gonna weave this down under Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to shove my needle between. I'm going to reach down as far as I can in the piece. Clap another in there. you guys enjoyed this little project together it's fast simple do the whole thing in 30 minutes flat and if you're feeling really creative you can take some more of the black and you can embroider boo on the front like and subscribe see y'all next time